there's one car out there that, in certain scenarios, is the quickest in the world. The all-electric Volkswagen IDR is one of the most rapid things on four wheels, and in certain instances is quicker than a Formula One car. It has the outright Pikes Peak record, it has an unofficial record of the Goodwood Hill Climb, and it has the EV record around the Nürburgring. And recently, Volkswagen has sent it up to Heaven's Gate in China to set a record on that 99 corner route. So, what makes this car so quick? And in what fields is it quicker than a Formula One car? To kick things off, let's look at the aero on this car. Just look at it. Let's start from the front. A huge front lip, massive canards on either side, a kind of subtle shark fin down the spine of the car, Venturi tunnels that could swallow a human whole, and the mother of all rear wings. Having seen this car in real life, it's frankly unbelievable how big that rear wing is. And actually, the VW team has two different wing configurations for this car, a massive high downforce wing, and a more sleeker, more aerodynamic wing, I guess kind of like an LM spec car. The daddy wing, as I like to call it, was used at Pikes Peak, as the altitude of that course means the air is much thinner, which decreases the ability of a car to create downforce. And my, did that wing make up for it. The wing was so big, it actually created too much downforce for the Goodwood car, so they used a smaller, sleeker wing from the Nürburgring lap time. Actually, the Nordschleife car specifically used DRS as well, a drag reduction system like you find in Formula One, which decreased the amount of downforce the car created by up to 20%, allowing it to reach a higher top speed. Surely the car has to be a tad rear biased in terms of downforce. Even with all that front aero, it's going to be difficult to cancel out that colossal picnic table of a rear wing stuck on the back. But it seemed the VW guys found a balance in the car. So what does this all amount to? Over a ton of downforce, which when combined with slick tires, makes the IDR quicker in the corners than just about anything. Next up, powertrain. The IDR uses two electric motors, one on each axle, that combine to produce 671 brake horsepower. Now, that may not seem too ridiculous in this day and age, considering there are electric hypercars coming with 2,000 horsepower. The reason for that small amount of power is weight, as they kept the batteries small and compact. Still, 671 brake horsepower being sent to all four corners isn't exactly a poor show. So what about the weight of this car? EVs are almost always plagued by their weight and the VW engineers had to work really hard to minimize the mass of this car as much as possible. As I mentioned earlier, the batteries were as small, compact and power dense as they could be. And the lithium ion packs were split in two, one beside the driver and one behind them to really get that perfect weight distribution. The overall construction of the car was also made of ultra light carbon fiber. The team even went in on Romain Dumas' race suit, trying to find the lightest material they could. At Pikes Peak, the marshals forced Dumas to wear a race entry number that had to be stitched on, and the thread used to stitch it on weighed just less than Dumas' entire original race suit, showing how seriously the VW guys were taking the overall mass of the car. In the end, they managed to produce what is essentially an all-electric LMP1 car that came in at under 1100 kilograms, which is a pretty astonishing effort considering the electric powertrain and the batteries. For the Goodwood attempt, the car was even lighter thanks to a smaller battery due to the small range that was needed. The inside of the second turn, now onto the park straight and up towards Malcolm. Every time I say it, you look out the window and he's arriving so fast and by the time he's looked out to see where he is, he's three seconds up at the first intermediate. That brought the car under a thousand kilograms, which is bringing it towards single-seater race car territory. And let's not forget the people behind this car. The VW IDR was essentially the product of Volkswagen's motorsport efforts taking a hit after Dieselgate. They had some seriously talented motorsport engineers from the Audi R18 car, 
the Porsche 919 campaign, and even a secret F1 engine project. With all of those projects put to bed thanks to Dieselgate, it allowed them to funnel those engineers into this IDR car. And predictably, it worked. So where is the IDR faster than a Formula One car? Well, first up is acceleration off the line. With all that grip, the instant torque, and the all-wheel drive traction, the IDR reaches 62 miles an hour in just 2.25 seconds, quicker than Lewis Hamilton's Mercedes. Also, when sent up the same hill climb as a V10 McLaren, the EV beat it by nearly two seconds, a 41.6 for Heidfeld versus a 39.9 for Dumas. A modern F1 car with the right setup and driven flat out would almost certainly take the record back at Goodwood, but we can't see the organisers letting that happen anytime soon. Actually, while I was at Goodwood this year to watch the record, I caught up with the chief aerodynamicist of the IDR, Hervé, to chat through where this car sits on the motorsport ladder. In terms of downforce for the racing cars, you've got F1 and LMP1 up top, and you've got GT3. Where does the VW IDR sit on that scale? Yeah, well, the, the good thing is uh, this car doesn't have a regulation to follow, absolutely. So uh, we are really free in terms of how much we can create downforce. So it's it's more than the Formula One, it's more than the GT. It's, uh, it's a higher level because we have this freedom. So it's more than an LMP1? More yes, than it's more than an LMP1 wow. because an LMP1 you will look, if you look at Le Mans for example, you will look a lot more on drag, which is much more important. The drag of the car in LMP1 is lower than this one, sure. but the level of the car is much higher on this one. Final question, good with hill climb 2020, Porsche 919 turns up versus this, what's going to be quicker? <laughs> uh, so if, I think this one. This one? <laughs> Yeah, I don't defend for, for, defend for which application. I think for Goodwood, yeah, we are quite good on this one because it's a lot about uh, speeding up and this one with uh, electric power, you can do a lot. 919 has been developed for something else. So uh, I think for, for, this, uh, for this kind of application, I think we'll be fast. Anyway, we want to know what you guys think of the Volkswagen IDR. Formula E essentially has electric single-seater racing all to itself. So could this be an insight into an all-electric Le Mans? Could you imagine an EV competing at Le Mans? Tell us in the comments below.